this is a very good indication a price will return and the same we have here so really pay attention to this volume imbalance because they are they are like gold so these gaps have much more impact to me than than bullish gaps like this one and this one so that's three days um, we would have three losing trades we would have four winning trades seven trades in total and right now we would be sitting at 12.5 r which is quite okay this is really just, I'm backtesting with you, just very, very simple techniques. I'm not looking for confluence. I'm not looking for overlapping stuff. It's like really the easiest way of trading DR, IDR. Understanding the DR, the IDR, understanding where are interesting levels. And all I'm looking is at this right now. I don't have access to the daily chart. I don't have access to the one hour chart. So this is really the simplest and easiest form to trade right now let's get back that's the adr so morning session generally after seeing this price action and the expansion we had the day before i would I like generally me i would expect some some sideways movement i would be not so keen to jump directly into a trade but like if the setup is right i maybe would change it but for now nothing i see so we are getting a confirmation to the to the long side so here, double rejection from the DR, we are closing below the IDR. It's fighting around this IDR level. That's like also fighting. The algo doesn't know what to do. So it's unclear what he wants to do next. And that's like these candles are showing you that. So we are expanding to the downside. We are getting rejected from the midpoint and the 2.5 RDR level. So now I'm interested in a trade. What time is it? Yeah, we have enough time. Everybody sees what I see. So this is the 2.5. This is a standard deviation level. I see a rejection from here. Price even rejects the midpoint of the RDR. So now it's interesting. And also on top, we have volume imbalance over here, which I expect to be filled. So we're entering here. My stop would be below the standard deviation level. And when I show my stops, it doesn't mean necessarily that you have to work with the same stop. So like for this trade, for example, as long your risk reward ratio is fine. So target would be either this one or a new high. You could have your stop even below here or here. Just look that you reach at least two R risk reward ratio. I wouldn't take trades below that. So if you take this trade with this stop loss and the target here, it would be a valid one. If I get stopped out now and I see another retirement setup, I technically have to re-enter or would like to consider to, to re-enter. So I'm risking 2R during this session for exactly the same setup. Stop below here. There is nothing wrong with that. Just not how I like to trade. So are we getting tagged? Yeah, we are out of this trade. So we are minus one. So if you would have your stop down here, you don't have to worry about that because at the end of the day, your stop is covering the whole scenario long confirmation if it closed below here we have a wrong day in the dr so you know you're on the wrong side yeah i have to re-enter that's just um that's just how i trade doesn't help i am risking another r this time my stop will be below the dr two points and my target would be a new high we leave another imbalance in price structure here so market returns all expected nothing crazy stop would go below like would go break even now so this would be a risk-free trade so now we are tagged in we are closing the trade 2.83 plus we round it up and we say three plus i will deduct when we have something to deduct three plus so we are 14.5 this is a very good indication a price will return and the same we have here so really pay attention to this volume imbalance because they are they are like gold i mean they are telling you literally how they appear they can tell you what the market is moving next to my general market understanding i would expect something to the downside um i can be wrong i don't know but like if i'm looking at the price structure here i'm pretty sure that this volume imbalance will be filled but let's see okay let's go just last question to this volume imbalance so yes i'm expecting a retracement but in general this price action looks very bullish to me 
So I'm more afraid of of gaps in inside the down movement or a volume imbalance. So these gaps have much more impact to me than than bullish gaps like this one and this one. Because right now the last price action we have seen is is very bullish. So it's more likely that downwards volume imbalance get filled before we go back at one point and fill these upward balances. So that's the session timings. The RDR goes from 10.30 to 4 o'clock. The ADR goes from 20.30 till 2 in the morning. And the ODR timing is from 4 to 8.30. So everything in between would mean time is over. So I literally, I normally don't want to take a trade one hour before the session ends, except I like it a lot. That's what I meant with I don't have enough time anymore. Okay, so now, as you can see, our volume imbalance get filled now. Not surprising. We have another volume imbalance over here. So what we have seen, we have an expansion to the downside. So right now it would be neutral. So now we are seeing an expansion model, most likely. Let's see how we close. So we are closing now. So looks to me right now like an expansion model. So range expansion means more price action in a range, even extending to the up and to the down. So, so expect some choppy movements. That's what this model is telling you. You're not taking any trades now because like this is a very complicated model to trade. So I'm going to be careful. So we have an early indication for short. Not a confirmation yet. So now we are looking at this. We still have this volume imbalance, um, which is drawing price. Rejection from here, leaving another volume imbalance. Don't like it. Still, this one is not filled yet, so I don't want to take a trade range expansion. I'm very careful with what I'm trading. Yeah, we are filling it, but like just a little bit. Do I take this or not? Not yet. So this, like again, this, we don't have a confirmation. So that's the retirement setup without confirmation. But like with this ADR and now the expansion in the ODR, um, I actually expect price to sweep above this. If this would be a confirmation down here, I would take the trade now. Without the confirmation and the setup of the two ranges together, I expect price to sweep this high, to be honest, and maybe filling in this little volume imbalance. So let's see. Price is looking to fill this volume imbalance. And as you can see now, we are taking out this volume imbalance. And now I'm ready to take this, I think, because it gave me everything I expected. So this volume imbalance is closed. Maybe it could wick above this high, but I don't think because I don't believe that there is any important liquidity here. So the next liquidity point would be here. But like we are expecting a range expansion model. So now I'm expecting price to come down into the lower range. Stop two ticks as for the retirement setup and target a new low, I would say. Let's see where the 0 0.5 standard deviation is. So it would be around here. Yeah, let's leave the target on a new low. So we are short now. Same setup like before. If we wick and stop, if it wicks above, stops me out. I'm ready to take another trade on this one. Okay, price would go like price is going downwards. That's nice. We are more than one R plus. So my stop would go on entry for this trade. And we would be stopped out because of the wick in here. So nothing won nothing lost 820 so we're not going to take another trade but technically again we have another retirement setup um still valid what i said up here so you could take this one again for me i don't take it it would have worked out for me nothing so price reaches the new low price reaches even lower so that would have been a good trade unfortunately wicked out what to do so that's just happening. That's just trading, even if it's the right trade. But me personally, I'm not getting bothered by those trades because it's just what it is. These setups are coming every day. I mean, just look, we took a random week. Um, I'm not looking at any higher time frame. And look at all the setups we are seeing. It's, it's so abundance on setups that I don't mind if I don't take one, if I don't 
I like this one. If I'm getting stopped out, I'm just stopped out fine while waiting for the next setup. Even though if you have good trades, even though if you have a very successful weeks, keep on studying because I want to have warriors. We are building warriors here. Warriors who will take over the market. And that's the goal. I want to have really people who change their life, who do complete turnaround for their loved ones and themselves. And once you reach that, I really hope you remember what I'm doing here. And then you also help other people's. Expansion to the downside. We are reaching 1.5. We're going deeper. So now we are in the RDR session. So now it's very important. So, so far the ODR extends the range. So we, you see that like if you take a, we see this kind of visual expansions as crazy. It sounds for you, but like I would, ex I would expect now that this session is taking out at least this high, just based on how the models are working together. I could be wrong, but. That's what I would expect. So that would be my narrative for the session right now. So let's see. So nice. We are returning to the 2.5. We are getting rejected here. And look what is happening right now. Here we have the midline of the range, which we formed right now. So I would like to take a long trade here. So we had one rejection. We are going up above this and I expect this is my minimum target I want to see for a long trade. My stop would be below the opening price, two ticks, one, two ticks below the opening price. Also, like as additional confluence for this situation, if you turn on the open close comparison, which is called box color based on open on close, that's from part two of my video series. So you see. This like, be careful with this one. It's not always right. It's quite high. It's quite good, but like, that's just like a tick, which helps you to, to understand the situation. So you see this three session, the open close coloring is, is very precise. So here we have a green one. We extend to the, to the upside. We have a red one, which is showing we're looking for shorts, which is true. And now we will figure out if the last one is true also. So as I said, my target would be at least above the DR here. So as expected, now it's 10.25. So we are closing positive. We are already closing with an early indication in the first candle after the DR. And we are closing above. So we have confirmation. We already reached my target. That's it. It's another winner. 3.5. So what I took from the other one, I just put it on top. So we are 18 hour. Done and dusted. That's it. So now it's going to be interesting because like I said, we are expecting this kind of formation when we see a range expansion model. So again, what I said before, look at the mid price from the ODR, look where we're pricing. Like that's giving you a lot of ideas to look at the previous mid prices and see how price is reacting on that. That's a very important point to study. So let's see. I would rather see something going down here, maybe even down for another retirement setup and then maybe up again. But I'm not interested to look for a long right now. I would like at least this one to be taken out and then maybe take another long try over here. And now, beautiful, nothing more to say. We are rejecting from the opening price. So I'm going to enter long now. And I would put my stop below the IDR levels because I don't, I don't think price will come back here. It should not. What time do we have? It's 12 o'clock. So I think I would be targeting either this high as a first target or this high. So we have to take this one else. We can't take this trade at least with the, with the stop over here. So let's have this as a target here. And from there we will see. This is the simple retirement setup. You can forget everything what I was talking about. This is just a simple retirement setup also. As expected, price goes up. You see this little volume imbalance over here and here. We have a small one over here. But again, we are expecting expansion to the upside. So that could have been a little influence for your decision making and more confidence for taking a trade down here. Done. Trade finished. 20.5. Setup done. I would be done and dusted for the, for the day.